I made this simple looping animation as a base for a collaborative project with my students, where we each interpreted it in different styles, adding our own elements to get a multiverse effect, which is currently all the rage in this universe. For my submission though, I needed to challenge myself and animate something I had never animated before. So I looked around my desk for inspiration. Here's my criteria. My animation must be one, beans, two, good, and no, this isn't sponsored by Heinz, other beans are available, but I did want to make sure I wasn't accidentally endorsing an evil corporation, so I googled Heinz Beans war crimes and got zero results. As of time of recording, I felt safe to proceed. I pulled up some references and started designing in Illustrator. Now having the black area of the label be a portal to a sea of beans in an endless void was an obvious choice that I couldn't resist but I had two large challenges before me. The first was that vast ocean of beans. I knew it would take a lot of time to create all of those beans in perspective and make it look convincing and not like a bad video game texture. First, I needed to figure out if I actually could make it look good at all before I committed just that much of my life to beans. So I quickly whipped up a rough version of what it might look like and threw that into After Effects to test it. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. That gave me all the reassurance I needed that it was going to be well worth my time making a more seamless pattern that wasn't so obviously repeating and adjusting each individual bean so that it was spaced evenly amongst its peers. Also making sure each gradient was in the right direction too. This took 12 weeks. The other design decision that was giving me serious doubt was the detail of the beans. Did I want to go for a more realistic bean with some more complex gradients or keep it stylized with just two colors? The more detailed gradient did look surprisingly realistic, but I would have had to keep that detail consistent amongst all the beans and make that work with the other design elements. After I had created my beautiful sea of beans, I eye dropped the gradient fill from the detailed bean onto the near infinite mass. This caused Illustrator to stop responding. I eventually got the fills to take, but Illustrator was not happy about it. And it didn't really look any better. I would still have to adjust each individual gradient to be all lit from the same direction whilst Illustrator was fading in and out of responsiveness. And I couldn't in good conscience do that to either of us. The realistic beans, I had to give them the flick. The designs were done. I cleaned them up into three tasteful style frames, tidied up the Illustrator file and imported it into After Effects. First, I placed the cursor in its own separate comp and made it bounce and jitter by animating its position on a null. Then I started on the backgrounds. I adjusted the colors from my base animation and had separate comps for each background, both being revealed by this Luma mat. I added a zoom to the bean ocean so it feels like we're flying above its beany majesty. Now for the flying beans, they are just animating their position and scale coming away from the center, nothing too fancy there. But for one loop, I wanted one of the beans to collide with the cursor. So I adjusted the path of one of the beans and animated its position and shape path frame by frame for the last few visible frames, so it looks like it's bouncing away. The last effect over the whole thing was a warp set to fisheye. So it pinches in on the center and gives a nice curve to the ocean of beans. It's important to me that I showed a curved horizon so there can be no doubt over the flatness of this bean planet. If anything, it would be bean shaped or maybe can shaped, which would allow for both a round and flat interpretation. It's entirely possible. Here is the final result and in glorious widescreen. Let me know if you think I fulfilled my criteria, what criteria you'd like me to approach my next animation with. And if you wanna see my process of how I animated this project, you wanna check out this next video.